Josh Burton from Action Corrosion. Today I'm here to talk to you about our safe and easy to use rust removal bath called Rust Bucket. We have done previous demonstrations with Rust Bucket versus Vapo Rust and Metal Rescue and in those demonstrations we've shown that this product is superior in the conditions that we set. Today we're here to discuss how this will go against uh, vinegar. So online people have got back to us and said why would we buy this product when we can use a cheaper product such as vinegar. Well the difference is that vinegar is acidic and it will do a very good job in removing rust, heavy rust off a rotor such as this, but you'll find in 10 or 15 minutes, because it leaves an acidic layer, it'll flash rust. So the rust will come back very hard. Rust bucket for the same job, it will remove the rust uh, the same as vinegar or if not more efficiently, but it's pH neutral which means that it won't leave an acidic surface and it won't flash rust like vinegar. So I'm going to do a demonstration now and de-rust half of this rotor. Um, as I said, this is a one litre container. It's half filled with powder. It's the measured concentrated dose to give you five litres of ready to use. So when you, when you crack the, uh, the lid, child proof lid, Pour it into your bath. What you would do is fill that with water five times and that gives you your five litres, your measured dose. But for simplicity today, I've just got a five litre container of water. So we're just gonna add that. So once all the powder is dissolved, it's ready to use as a bath. Right, this rotor's had years and years of weathering, so it's got very, very heavy rust on it. And what we'll do is place it in the bath. Right, it's the next day at the rust bucket demonstration. Uh, as you can see, there's been some changes. Uh, the actual rust removal process with rust bucket is called chelation. And you'll see that the rust color has gone into the water. And you'll also see at the bottom of the container, we've just got pieces of rust that have been taken off. So what I'll do is I'll just take it out of the liquid now, the solution, and I've got some water here in a spray bottle just to show you exactly what it's done. Get a cloth and give that up dry. So you can see it's done an excellent job of removing all the rust. There's still a little bit of grease in there from which it won't remove, but you can see that as far as stripping it, it's taken it back how it would have come out of the factory. And the difference between this and your vinegar, as we discussed before, is that once this is rinsed off with water, it won't flash rust straight away like vinegar will. So um, in time it will gather rust up again, but not instantly, it won't do that. You've got, um, you've got days before you'd, you need to look at putting the coating on it.
Good morning, it's five days since we de-rusted the radar with Rust Bucket and we're just going to show you uh, the properties that it does have as compared to vinegar. So if you come in closer, after five days you can see that the uh, Rust Bucket still has a protective layer on there and it hasn't started rusting again which is really important when you're de-rusting uh, motorcycle petrol tanks and things like that where um, you may need some time before you put a protective coating on them or you fill it again. So for all you skeptics out there what we're going to do is, uh, is fill this container now with vinegar and then we're going to rotate this and do the other half of the rotor in vinegar. Like I said before it'll do a really good job of stripping the rust off the, um, off the rotor but then it'll flash back quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Alright, just got two bottles of vinegar here. Pura Vita. Now vinegar is acidic of course, so that's the issue with de-rusting with it. It just leaves that acidic surface which promotes rust after it does remove rust. Whereas, as I mentioned before, our rust bucket is pH neutral, so it doesn't have the same issues. So that's the de-rusted side that we did the rust bucket with. And what we're going to do is do exactly the same light back. And you can see that bottom portion submerged. So we'll, um, we'll keep an eye on that and then we'll pull it out. We'll do exactly like we did on the other side, rinse it, and then we'll, um, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's the next day of the vinegar test. Uh, if you're coming close, it's been left overnight as per the uh, rust bucket. Um, as I said, it's done a pretty good job. Um, it tends to take rust off in flakes as opposed to um, where rust bucket removes the rust and pretty much leaves the metal intact. So you can see that when vinegar removes rust, it actually takes it off in sheets. So it's quite harsh on, um, on steel. And that's another reason why we, uh, we don't recommend using vinegar. So what I'll do, I'll rinse that off as we did with the rust bucket. Um, so what we'll do, we'll leave that now and um, we'll see the difference between it and rust bucket um, in regards to flash rust. It's the following day of the rust removal test using vinegar. Uh, you can see that this is the rotor here. And this is where we removed the rust with vinegar. It was totally clean yesterday and it's the flash rust has has started in earnest um, it'll keep rusting now and be worse than what it was when you originally started out if you look at the in comparison uh, that's been the rust bucket rust removal was done seven days ago so that's seven days since the test there's been no reoccurrence of rust and as you can see with vinegar there is so you can see from these results that vinegar is not a wise selection when it comes to rust removal. Really it's uh, chalk and cheese how rust bucket performs when compared to vinegar. So using vinegar uh, to de-rust say a motorcycle petrol tank or inaccessible areas will eventually create a bigger problem than the uh, initial rusted problem that you had. Um, whereas you can be confident that if you do de-rust with rust bucket and it's rinsed out that you are going to have a protective layer for some time until it requires treatment. So we hope that this video demonstration has cleared up a lot of misconceptions about the usefulness of vinegar when removing rust. Um, basically, if you're going to do a de-rusting job properly, do it right the first time and we suggest using a product 
such as ours, Rust Bucket.